In today's video, Dad actually tries to save the clears, something I think should be shredded on site. I'm hopefully going to be able to save these diabolical clears, and I'll be able to show you all the polish I use, as well as the cleaner I use and the rags I use to hopefully save us some money. So fingers crossed I can get these clears clear again. I wish you the best of luck, because you're really going to need it. I think I am going to need it. I have a little bit of a problem, and you can probably tell what it is, and it's the clears. Either I clean them, I repair them or I replace them. And obviously replacing the clears is gonna cost me around about 10 grand. So I'm hoping the cleaning product I use today is not only gonna allow us to see through them, but save me a lot of money. So the first thing I have to do is give them a quick wash down. They're covered with salt and dirt. And obviously with cleaning them, I don't wanna scratch them. Give them a quick dry. Now the actual product I've decided to, to use today is a Starbright Clear, the plastic restorer. This is of course is a step one. This is a one that I believe breaks down everything and makes them clear again. And the second application is a plastic polish which of course then protects them. Apply a liberal amount to a soft cloth and rub into the plastic surface using circular motions overlapping. Uh, use a clean dry cloth to gently buff out the scratches and reveal the renewed clean surface. Keep your fingers crossed. First application. So what I'm doing is I'm just applying it in a circular motion, and allowing it to dry on. Then I'll use the other uh, other cloth to hopefully remove it. Now these clears are obviously pretty bad and it's taking me multiple applications to try and get most of the yellowing off and it's a bit of a workout. <laughs> God, I thought this is going to be easy. Why is nothing on a boat easy? I suppose that's what makes it fun. I'm going to wash her down a bit and see what she looks like. I'm using a clean cloth to wipe her down. She's a little bit better. You can see through it better, but some of the yellowing's not coming off and I don't want to go too hard because I don't want to scratch um, the clears more than they already actually are. I don't know whether it's looking any better. Can you tell it's looking any better? Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the uh, the polish, which is step two, you know, just so I can see how it looks after. But I think I'm fighting a losing battle. But not giving up yet. All right. Here we go. Obviously, I'm using the clean cloth for this. Obviously, I don't want to get all the clean or abrasive on this and scratch it. I think I failed. That's after two applications and of course the application of uh, the uh, polish. I think they're dead. But I can't drive along with clears like this. It just makes it really difficult to drive when you have to look down into the window. A little bit frustrating, but I've learned something today. Sometimes clears are beyond repair. Unless you let me know a trick, please, comments below. Let me what do you think I should do. On a side note, we've actually got um, the engines being serviced for the first time in a week or so. And I'll actually introduce to our uh, mechanic and also what he does and how much it costs. Because I've got some things I want to get done to the engines, because obviously I want to be able to trust the engines. So I thought I might as well get them uh, serviced first thing. Isn't it funny, the more you look at the boat, the more you see things you have to get done. <laughs> I obviously need to clean the deck. I obviously need to get off some rust parts. I need to get the water pump replaced because the fresh water pump, which is behind here, is broken. I've got some caps that I need to actually uh, replace. We've got the anchor we have to replace, including the primarily the rope. And I don't want to go down there just yet. The door closer is <laughs> broken. I've got to get that replaced. The pins torn off the awning, which gets attached. The seat cover has torn off itself. Got to get that repaired. You have no idea how long it took me to learn how to put this thing on. I know it looks simple, but it's not. 
The trick I've found is find the centerpiece, work from there. My light's broken. Just add one more thing I have to do. And don't take me wrong, I'm not complaining. I knew I was taking a really big project on with buying my very first boat. It is a lot of fun. In our next video, Dean actually teaches how to correctly splice ropes to make perfect docking ropes. And who does it better? We have a competition. So just if you want to see that video, I'll put the video just over his face, just here. And if you want to subscribe, I'll put it over that old head. Click one. Preferably this one or this one. <laughs>